Assalamu alaikum and hello and welcome to Baby Step Med where I try and make difficult medical concepts a bit easier. So now this video I'm going to be talking about the development of the thyroid gland and um, so <laughs> let's just get started because it's it's easy okay nothing is hard you just gotta figure it out once you figure it out then it's like really easy. So remember where the thyroid is right it's basically in the neck so where does it appear it appears in the floor of the pharynx in the middle of the floor of the pharynx and basically the middle part just starts dividing and proliferating and stuff that was the doorbell but i'm gonna ignore that because someone else will get it anyways so the thyroid appears as an epithelial thickening where in the midline of the floor of the pharynx, okay? So let's just get that part out of the way. Now, where is it? Where exactly? Between the tuberculum impar and the copula. And later uh, in development, this point is called the foramen cecum, okay? So now the thyroid, the primitive thyroid, it descends as a bilobe diverticulum and it remains connected to the tongue via the thyroglossal duct, which disappears later normally. If that doesn't happen, there's going to be a problem, which we'll discuss um, in a few minutes. So then it descends further. And in front of the hyoid bone and the laryngeal cartilages, it's just basically descending. That's what the thyroid gland is doing, right? And then it reaches its final position, which is the trachea. And then at this point, at about seven weeks, at about the seventh week, it has a small isthmus and two lobes, okay? And then the thyroid gland, it becomes functional by the end of the third month. And how do you know it's functional? When there's when the when colloid containing follicles appear. That's when you know that it's functional. Uh, and the cells there are two cells. The thyroid gland has two major cells: the follicular cells and the C cells. The follicular cells release T3 and T4, and the C cells release calcitonin. So basically, in summary. Floor of the pharynx, lots of thickening, it's becoming really big, right? And then it starts descending, and we see where it's descending, la la la. And then its final position is the trachea, where it has a small isthmus and two lobes. This, now this, this is important, this is a point to focus on, because a lot of the anomalies, the major common anomalies, are because of this. And we will see it just now. So the thyroid glands, normal vestigial remnants are the foramen cecum and the pyramidal lobe. But now we're on to the anomalies. So let me just orient you to this drawing. These are the lips, very funny looking uh, lips, but let's just ignore those. Um, I'm actually a good draw. I'm good at drawing, but this 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 does not vouch for that. But anyways, so uh, yeah, this is the chin. And I'm just showing you the inside of the neck area. This is the tongue, apparently, here somewhere. This is the foramen cecum, this little triangle thingy. And this is the hyoid bone. This is the thyroid cartilage. And this is the thyroid gland. And these are the tracheal rings. So, the major anomaly is the are the thyroglossal cysts right and these red things are the cysts and they basically they're just like cystic remnants of the thyroglossal duct uh, they just remain behind and they cause problems and they can occur anywhere along the migratory or descending path of the thyroid gland remember that we talked about it descending to its position that is the trachea right so it can be anywhere. It can be here, it can be here, it can be here, it can be here, it can be anywhere. 50% uh, of the cysts are cervical. So they're close or below the hyoid bone. Here we go. And 50% of the cysts are lingual. So they're near the thyroid cartilage and the base of the tongue. And then most of them are found in the midline of the neck. The second common um, anomaly is the thyroglossal fistula, where 
where basically the thyroglossal cyst remains connected to the outside while a fistulous canal so basically fistus means an opening right so the cyst is connected to the outside and then we call that a thyroglossal fistula so basically it is again this thing is just uh, an, a, an outcome of this and then there's another anomaly which is the aberrant thyroid tissue so basically you have it can okay again this can be also found uh, in the path of the descent the migratory path anywhere along that path and it is mostly most commonly found on the base of the tongue and that is it about the development of the thyroid gland i hope this helps if you have any questions or requests or anything please let me know and i really really hope that this helps thank you for watching please like and subscribe uh bye